Hearing loss is the most common birth anomaly, affecting approximately three per 1,000 live births. Oklahoma was the fifth state to mandate newborn hearing screenings for high-risk babies in 1983. The year 2000 was significant for newborns as legislation was passed that mandated hearing screenings for every infant born in a birthing hospital of 50 or more babies per year. Great efforts on behalf of hospitals and pediatricians have led to the early identification of many babies with hearing loss. However, many are being lost due to follow-up. In 2004, approximately 52,000 babies were born in Oklahoma. Out of an estimated 150 which should have been identified with hearing loss, 52 had a diagnosis and even fewer were enrolled in early intervention. Still, the ones who were caught early have made miraculous progress. <laughs> McKenna is a success story. McKenna is nothing short of a miracle. Diagnosed at seven weeks and intervention at 10 weeks, McKenna marks a new generation of deaf children who will mainstream into regular classrooms with the ability to speak and listen like their hearing peers. McKenna was born in January 2004. She's now two and a half years old. She, uh, right after being born, she stopped breathing and she had to be on a ventilator and a respirator for five days. She was on gentamicin. Yeah. And the hospital where she was born in Tulsa forgot to do her hearing screening. So they gave me a call, and since that was the last thing on my mind, I waited probably a couple weeks before I took her back to the hospital to be tested, and she referred, and they said, oh, don't worry about it, it's probably the instrument, it's probably the instrument. So long story short, I probably had five to six more OAEs performed on her, and they all failed or referred before I got an appointment to see our audiologist. Which at that time, at seven weeks, she had an AVR performed on her, and she was diagnosed as being profound to severely, or severely to profound hearing loss in both ears. <clears throat> she was immediately fitted for hearing aids, and at ten weeks, she got her first set of hearing aids. Um, she she could hear better with the hearing aids, but she just wasn't getting enough gain on them. And since she was a perfect candidate for cochlear implant, we pursued that pretty quickly. And when she was 11 months old, she got her first cochlear implant. And at that time, she was the youngest in the, at the Huff Ear, Ear Institute to receive the cochlear implant. And at 19 months, she got her second one. And as you can see, she is doing wonderfully. The last time she was in a booth, she was down to 20 decibels. Before, she was at 110. And we are so extremely pleased with the progress that she is making. And she is normal and wonderful. Alexa was born July 22, 2004 at a Tulsa hospital. She has no risk factors and her birth was unremarkable. She was just recently diagnosed at 22 months. And so we didn't pick up on that she couldn't talk because she could do everything else really good. And then we had a, my aunt actually said something about, she, I don't think she could hear right. She called her name a couple times in a room and she never turned around. But we thought maybe she was just really involved with what she was doing, but apparently not. It's kind of a sick feeling though, knowing that all that time you could have done something to help her, you know, something to help her be able to hear. And, you didn't know it, so it kind of feels like you weren't being a good parent to take care of that need. But yeah, because I don't know how many times I said, "How is she not listening?" And yeah. then I thought about it, and I just I get sick every time. She, she probably really couldn't hear me. Alexa failed a hearing test and was referred for early intervention where she was diagnosed with mild to moderate in her left ear and a moderate to severe loss in her right. Alexa's hearing was screened six times in the hospital. Each screening was a bilateral refer. Alexa's parents never knew the results of those tests until they requested the hospital records when she was 21 months old. Newborn hearing screenings are just part of the process in finding hearing loss. The earliest intervention possible is critical and you can make the difference.